though uh, each of these Asian countries are making effort, you know, in preserving and developing their traditional theatre, there are not very many dialogues between the countries. So I think this ITI, uh, you know, seminar and festivals in Bangladesh is very important. It helps to connect people and to to know what our other counterparts in Asia and other parts of the world are doing. So by creating this awareness and understanding, we should then promote you know, our cultural heritage collectively. It's important to connect our young people to the, the traditions because traditional theatres is actually you know, the knowledge of many generations of artists, you see. So I think we should treasure this uh, you know, uh, heritage so that we can tap the resources of the past and then use it you know, for, uh, for, more, for modern theatre. In just a matter of few hours, under the guidance of these masters, the youngsters were performing an extract from the Chinese opera titled The Painted Skin. It was a true adaptation. Though the language was in Bangla, the gestures and movement in sync with the background traditional Chinese music was awesome. The steps, rhythm and even the delivering was so Chinese. Yet the language and basic flavor gelled with Bangla essence. <laughs> The, the theatre of Bangladesh is full of tradition and this tradition music and dance give the theatre in Bangladesh a special uh, test, you know, it looks like, like a difference. And also 
I'm so happy with the cultural diversity of Bangladesh. It is all, all together in one plate, you know, and you can see everything and you can enjoy it very much. I think uh, this kind of uh, close relationship with life, with the people, is make, uh, what makes uh, Bangladesh data different from many other uh, uh, cultures. After witnessing the workshop, we were getting down the stairs when something drew my attention. The unmistakable sound of traditional folk theatre or jatra. And it led us to a hall where this piece from the Hindu epic, the Ramayan, was being performed on stage. Though it was a very unlikely environment for Jatra, which is generally performed in makeshift tents across rural Bengal, the flavor minus the ambience was perfectly there. Standing behind the wings, we saw actors with all their gorgeous costumes and loud makeup lining up for the next scene. Back in West Bengal, I have seen Jatra a number of times in the villages. But for Anuradha, it was quite a new experience. And to give her a more intimate taste of this folk form, we went to the green room. That's my favorite place. I love to see all the colors and paints and wigs and bright jewelries and actors transforming from individuals to characters. indeed a perfect day. In just one evening, we witnessed so much. Though just a bite from the huge rich aura of Bangla theatre, it was an experience of a lifetime. Oh